Revolution. <laughs> What is up everyone? Hopefully everyone's having a great week. Today we're gonna dive into a brand new rod in my lineup of rods. This one's just dropping in Academy stores here very soon. If you can't get them there, I'll tell you guys, you can always go on to academy.com. Um, this is my 7.6 brand new crankbait rod. Okay, this is a graphite rod. So I've talked to you guys about what I think about graphite composite, graphite rods. This is the thing. Diving into why I have a graphite crankbait rod, the 7.6, um, I went back and forth, okay? So later on last year, I won a big tournament out on Lake Chickamauga throwing a DT20, DT16 out offshore throwing a 711 crankbait rod. Okay, this is sort of the reason why I threw a 711 was I was trying to get distance and trying to get down because those fish were pretty deep. Now, I think an all around good crankbait rod for throwing like a DT10, DT20, DT16, 6XDs, all whatever you're throwing is a deep diving crankbait. Normally, a 7.6 is really what I prefer. Reason why is I, tend to be about 75 to 80 feet away from the fish. And with a crankbait, I can get that crankbait out there with a 7.6, 120 feet approximately, somewhere in there. I could probably get it 140 feet with a 7.11 or 7.10. The thing is, you don't need that extra length necessarily um, most of the time. So the other thing again is being a little bit lighter uh, or a little bit shorter rod allows me to impart an action in a crankbait a little bit different. What I mean by that is there's times that when you're fishing a school of fish offshore that you need to snap that crankbait. And I've caught a lot of big ones over the years doing it. It's something that triggers them. It just does when I'm reeling it through them real fast and I twitch it. It's harder to do with a longer rod. And that's why another reason why I th decided to go with a 7.6 medium heavy cranking rod. Now, the, the big question is, okay, this is the big question people are gonna ask. Why are you using a graphite rod when you talked about so highly of a, a graphite deposit? There, for me, there's a couple different reasons why. As I, as, as I sort of developed this rod and I went into a 7.6, graphite composite as I sort of went through different rod lengths and different things. The reason behind why I decided to choose a graphite rod was because of the distance of the average bite. And what I mean by that is this is sort of my, this is my offshore crankbait rod. I can throw, you know, a wiggle ward on this rod. I can throw uh, other, other baits, but for the most part, when I'm throwing a DT6 shallow or a square bill or anything like that, I, it's a shorter distance cast. Like I'm getting my bites most of the time, um, 60 feet out, less than that, probably 40 to 60 feet out max. And so when I'm cranking offshore, I have a longer cast. And as when I, I have more room for error, what I mean by that is I have more line out. And the reason why I throw a graphite composite shallow is because I don't want to feel the bite. Because I the issue is I don't want to, I don't necessarily want to, overreact. That is the big key with a graphite rod over a graphite composite. Now the graphite composite, I don't want to overreact because I'm short, a lot of times I'll short line you, they'll bite you right at the boat when you're fishing shallow, cranking a square bill around like a jabber jaw. And that is the reason why I like that action. And as I learned and played with this rod, I, and, and a graphite composite rod offshore, I noticed that I, I, was, I was getting hung up more on those longer casts when I bumped the stump or I fished brush or, or, or I was cranking through big rocks because I, I needed a feel. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what ended up helping was that I could, there was more line that was getting stretched. There was more stretch, there was more room for error. And I, in longer distance, I could feel what I was doing. And when that fish bit, I had more stretch in my line because on the average bite, there was more stretch and there was more room for error when I pulled into those fish. So I'm trying to sort of like, I don't want to, I, hopefully this is making sense. Basically, the longer the cast, the more stretch you're going to have in your fluorocarbon or monofilament. So there's less, there's more room for error than when you have it on a long cast. And that's why, and ultimately 
for me when I decided to go with a graphite rod was because of feel when I was cranking stumps, cranking wood, cranking brush. I needed to feel where that bait was at, where I'm cranking shallow more so, that shorter distance, I can feel enough. I can feel enough there where it has a short string, short line, I'm able to feel what's going on. So that's the reason behind why I decided to design a 7.6. Um, so this rod's pretty bad dude. We're gonna be shooting a lot of content over the summertime talking about it. And it's something that I'll use even like right now, you know, cranking a DT-10 on, on, on crank on the bars and places like that. Um, it's a, it's definitely a rod. And, and the thing is, this is not a wimpy rod. This is a rod that has a lot of, it has a lot more backbone to it. So if you're looking for a rod, for that this is not this is not your wimpy flimsy rod it, it is enough backbone to it that it can it can support a bigger crankbait um i would not necessarily throw maybe like a giant crankbait like those 10xds and stuff like that i would probably throw something a little bit different but that's this is the rod for my all-around deep dive deep diving crankbait rod this is the rod i chose and after a lot of testing this is what i came up with so check them out they're just hopping in stores as we speak thank you guys so much for watching Next week, we'll have a new rod, and we're jumping into the spinning rods. All right, so I messed up. I flummed up the, fumbled up it all, I, whatever. I basically messed up the ending um, at the end, so I do that all the time. You guys have seen it if you watch the full video, so I appreciate all of you who are still here right now, because that actually means you watch the whole video, which, thank you. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you all next week.